Hello my beauties and uh, welcome to another video on my channel. I hope you like the topic of this one and thank you for clicking on the thumbnail. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Emilia and we're all about fragrances as well from time to time beauty, makeup and lifestyle. And uh, as you could see from the title, I have thought to make some interesting video where it might be good to know what fragrances not to wear at the work environment as well um, I would avoid wearing them outside around men unless you're looking to grab attention um, and you know attract the opposite side um, if this is something of your interest keep on watching and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing thank you so much for those of you that have been already subscribing to my channel and you have just tuned in for the newest release of this video if you have been on my channel you know that there has been some time since i uploaded a video there have been a lot of things going on in my life um, basically it has been one year since my mom passed away and i felt that um, even though i was keeping myself busy and uh, you know trying to dig myself into doing things videos and so on um, I had to take a break simply to you know process the loss of my mom and therefore I apologize for those of you that you have been waiting for newer videos and a heads up I plan to do a two part for this video so not to make it too long and I'm going to start with a first one which you might have been um, already aware of. It's Scandale by Jean Bocoudier. Now, the reason why I would not recommend this fragrance, it's because I find it very um, seductive, very sensual, very sexy, and at the same time, overly sweet. Um, for some of you, it might be too much from the honey and the pear that's here. It is a beautiful uh, scent that you might consider wearing around your yeah, other half, your husbands, and so on. However, I would not recommend this wearing in an environment. It can be overly glowing. It might be too sweet, and um, you might get the unwanted attention. It's super sexy. I mean, um, men find this fragrance very, very sexy, very alluring, and um, very attractive for the opposite sex. Now, if you're into this kind of attention, you might want to uh, wear it. However, be careful how many sprays you apply because it can be super, super strong. It has a great sillage, great projection, and uh, very, very feminine. And uh, therefore, I wouldn't recommend to wear this one at a work environment. I'm going to also mention uh, a bit with regards to the notes that this one has in case you're not familiar with this it has as mentioned honey it's very very sweet and fruity um it has a bit of freshness but on me on my skin actually it leans more towards the glowingly sweet honey it's very deep and thick at the same time same like the honey you get that impression um it has powerful honey notes and powerful jasmine and um, it's very elegant, very sensual at the same time. And I would say it's also erotic, um, delicious. It goes into the fruity gourmand. Um, it has an amazing lasting power. So if you're looking for those kind of scents, you can go for this. Um, it's elegant. It's um, youthful at the same time. It's not outdated. And... Um, you know, it, it can be too sweet, too much overpowering of the pair note for some. It depends obviously from the skin type. I love the bottle, it's very gorgeous. Though, uh, as you can see from the bottle, it's not something that I really, really reach for because as mentioned, it, it's too strong. Number one from this list. Another fragrance that I think would not be suitable for 
work environment would be agent provocator by agent provocator. It is, on me at least, it's a very beautiful scent. It's a rosy, musky, powdery, um, kind of like metallic at the same time. And um, woody, I find it um, very interesting. It goes into the floral woody musk fragrance. And um, it has a lot of interesting notes. It has magnolia, it has saffron, uh, Moroccan rose, it has Egyptian jasmine, gardenia, vetiver, musk, amber. And it's basically a signature fragrance of the house. Um, it has a very sharpness, um, very provocative uh, kind of scent. And um, this is why I wouldn't recommend to wear this. I mean, it's, it's more on the sexy kind of fragrances. Um, it has beautiful warm floral notes from the magnolia, from the Indian jasmine, from the gardenia. And uh, because of this very animalistic aspect, I find it, uh, you know, as the name says, provocative as a fragrance. Um, it has, again, an amazing projection. On my skin, it stays for hours and hours and hours. Um, on some, it might come as a peace note um, or, you know, like a prickly smell. And I do not see this as a suitable fragrance for daily wear or work um, appropriate. At the same time, I would not recommend this to purchase it as a blind buy. Um, it is brave fragrance. It's completely outstanding from the trend. It's something unique. It has unusual combination of the notes. Um, it has a very predominant and persistent rose, at least on my skin. And um, for me, you know, it's also something that I, I reach for. However, for some of you, it might be scratchy, it might be dusty, it might be kind of like pickly, soury scent. I find it very, very polarizing as a scent. And um, something that I know from different reviewers as well is that it, it can differ from person to person. So if you're looking into you know, a sexier fragrance that you want to use, um, maybe you want to smell this one, test it out on your skin, because uh, as mentioned, it can be more on the polarizing side and definitely not work appropriate in my opinion, even though it's, it's a very beautiful scent and I'm so glad that it works with my skin's chemistry. And it's not one of those that, um, you know, I have to worry about because it does not work uh, for me. It's one of those that I really, really um, like. It reminds me a bit of uh, Santa Maria Novella Rosa Novella. Um, and as mentioned, it's something that definitely worth to try out. So that was Agent Provocator by Agent Provocator. Another fragrance that I would not recommend to wear at a work environment. And I consider it, again, a very seductive, sexy, flirtuous fragrance would be Euphoria or Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Now, this is an evening scent, um, in my opinion. It has powderiness, it has floral notes, it's sweet as well. It can become overly sweet um, on some. It has also violet accords, so you need to you know, be into violet if you're interested in this fragrance. Now, uh, fragrance notes wise, it has um, some interesting combinations. 
we have pomegranate, we have uh, green accords, we have black orchid, we have lotus, champaca, we have amber, we have black violet, whipped cream. So from this whipped cream, you get this creaminess, kind of like fluffiness. And I find it super, super sexy. Um, it's perfect for date nights, perfect for going out with your boyfriend or, you know, romantic dinner and so on. Um, the fragrance does not lack quality. It's, it's an amazing fragrance. It lasts, it projects well. Um, it's an appealing scent, both from men and women. It's attractive scent. Um, it's very modern. And I would definitely say that this is one of those good quality fragrances that it's worth investing in if you're looking on having a sexy fragrance. Um, I also find quite a unique blend of wood notes, of florals, of fruit in it. And um, again, not everyone would enjoy this fragrance, so definitely try it out if you're thinking in purchasing this one. Um, it might come up a bit masculine on some of you and, you know, because of the, the nose that it has, but, uh, again, it's something that it's worth testing out, trying out. Um, in my opinion, it's very, very sexy, very alluring. And, um, again, it's one of those that you do not want to wear at work because you might have the wrong attention from the opposite sides or even from your female colleagues. It might be too strong, the projection and silage, it's, it's amazing. So you have this big bubble scent around you. And um, even if you apply just the body lotions, because they come also with scented body lotions, it's, it's available, you can buy sets as well. Um, be careful with those ones as well because they are really, really strong. Um, sometimes I was just wearing the scented body lotion and I did not have to apply the fragrance. So it's definitely worth investing if, again, you're looking for something unique, something sexy and very feminine, um, something to attract the attention of others around you. So this was, again, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. The next one on my list is going to be one that I do appreciate. In my opinion, it's a beautiful scent. It's one of those bossy, powerful women. Goes very well for unique business meetings. It goes with, you know, late evenings, going out for romantic dinners and so on. Um, I find it very sexy and uh, it represents powerful women, decision-making women. And it's a beautiful fragrance and uh, definitely the reason why I would not recommend to wear it in a work environment, it's purely because it's heavy. Um, it can be super, Clawing, um, suffocating. And this is the fragrance that it's again a polarizing fragrance. It's Tom Ford Black Orchid. It's very unique again. If you're into earthy, woody, patchouli fragrances, then this might be it for you. I, I absolutely adore this fragrance. And, um, we have here very interesting uh, combinations because we have truffle, we have gardenia, we have black currant, we have beautiful jasmine with ylang ylang, some bergamot, some lemon, some orange, and then we have spices, we have fruity notes, we have orchids, um, we have chocolate, we have patchouli, we have vanilla, incense, amber, sandalwood, white musk. So. You know, it's a lot going on in this bottle. And what I like about Tom Ford fragrances in general is that they are quite unique. And I find each fragrance coming out from this house as 
they try to go into these mysterious fragrance categories. It's they they have really high quality fragrances. So if you're into Tom Ford, you know that they're high quality. And if you would smell it on a person, you would definitely say that he's he or she is wearing a niche fragrance because that's the quality of the fragrances. This for me it's very alluring. It's very mysterious. Um, I see it pulled up even by a man, even though it's marketed for women. And it's very sensual, very sexy at the same time. Um, and it's unique in the sense that you will not smell it on many. Um, it might come off on some as nasty, as unbearable as a scent. Um, you know, it might be an overwhelming scent as well. So it's, as mentioned, this is why I said it's more for this bossy uh, personality. If if you're a woman to wear it, it I imagine like a strong, powerful woman wearing this. Um, and it can be very, very heavy on, on some of us and very uncomfortable. Um, so therefore, I would not wear this in a closed environment, in an office, um, if I would be going, let's say, on a date night where I want to be, you know, the boss lady, um, I want to impress someone, I want to smell unique, then yes, I would wear this. Um, I love overall the fragrance. It's uh, long lasting. It has an amazing projection, silage, and a little goes along with this fragrance. Um, price wise, I would say. It's not budget friendly. However, given the fact that you only need like two, three sprays, I think it's a great investment. And as mentioned, it's quite one of a mysterious, sexy fragrance, especially because of the extra dose of jasmine, which you will have in the opening and the middle of the fragrance. It's, no, it's something super, super sexy, super feminine. Um, but as mentioned, it comes down from the skin chemistry. Um, myself, I did not enjoy this fragrance. Um, for me, it might also be like, you know, some might be using it during Halloween because it's so mysterious, so dark, so sexy. Um, It might be coming like smelling like a church on some of you and definitely it's not a crowd pleasing fragrance as well so you have to be really into patchouli into musky orchid lotus patchouli kind of like scent to really enjoy this and um that is why i i find it very very polarizing um but I'm glad that I appreciate the fragrance and works very well on my skin. So that was once again, Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And the next fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about would be a super sexy, super alluring, very, very feminine, um, attention grabbing scent. And even the bottle is very, very sexy, I would say. And that's another fragrance from Jean Paul Gaultier. This is Label, the original one. There's also flankers of it. Now, this is a beautiful fruity vanilla powdery scent. I absolutely adore this fragrance. And I find it one of those sexy, um, very mysterious again, attracting uh, fragrance. As you can see, I've been through quite a lot. Um, funny story with this being that initially when I sprayed this one, I was not impressed with it. And uh, actually what made me really appreciate this fragrance was the fact that I started using the body lotion with which I bought this. I bought it as a set and I really enjoyed it. It has this woodiness, this warmness that comes around you and is this sweetness, this fruitiness that comes, this amberiness. And I really enjoyed it, especially during the colder months. Um, 
Again, we have here pear, we have bergamot, we have some floral notes as well with leather. And the base, it's heavy on vanilla, on amber and musk. Um, again, it's one of those super delicious gourmand fragrances. Um, I absolutely love wearing it in the colder months, especially when we have these rainy days, when I want to feel cozy and warm, um, as well as sexy, seductive. And um, it has a very good projection. It's very playful. It's very flirtuous, um, fragrance kind of type. Um, it's very appealing both for men and women. I mean, both men and women are attracted by this fragrance. And uh, that being said, I have to mention, I consider this fragrance as a full bottle worthy, as well as a backup bottle worthy. If you haven't seen my backup bottle worthy video, which I did a couple of months ago, then go check it out on my channel where I talk about all the other fragrances. Um, some people might find it kind of like too perfumery. Some might say, you know, it's too generic designer fragrance. It might be too, too syrupy, too sweet. So uh, for me, you know, because it's all these aspects that it has, it comes with, I would not wear this at an office or even if I would go to a doctor's appointment, uh, going shopping in the mall, because definitely you will get the unwanted attention. And, uh, you know, male, they tend to be really, really attracted by this fragrance. I mean, even the bottle, it's very, you know, appealing, alluring, and uh, feminine, sexy, you name it. I love these details on it. And um, definitely worth trying it out again. It's very juicy as a fragrance. Um, I love the pear notes in this. And um, I would say it's super, super feminine. And it's, it's very good. It's one something that I, I want to have um, always in my collection. Some might find it a bit too synthetic when it comes to this sweet vanilla uh, fragrance, too sugary, too syrupy. But, um, you know, what I would recommend is try it a few times out. Maybe you're like me. Um, because I purchased it in summertime, in June or July. And I don't find this appealing during summertime because it, I find it too heavy, especially if you're living in a humid or Mediterranean climate like I am in. Um, I'm not reaching for this in summer times, but in winter, as mentioned, when I want to feel cozy, warm, sexy, attractive, then I'm reaching for this again. Few sprays goes long away. You don't need to over spray it, otherwise it might be too much. So um, in my case, that would be it for this video, for this part. I'm going to post as well a second part of this video, and I'm going to refer to some very, very well-known frequencies, and I hope that's something of your interest. And thank you so much for tuning in into this video. Till next time, bye.